Hello everyone. It's me Infinite Designer. Today we are going to make this kind of car edit by speed ramping using a light motion app. So, first of all, if you have a single clip with various scenes like this, then you are good to go. But if you have separate scenes like this, then stitch them and make a single video like this. So, this is my entire clip. Now select the video layer and go to that frame where first scene ends and second scene starts. Here my second scene starts at 2.29 seconds. Now click on this speeding options. Now first add a keyframe at this frame. Now move the layer backward to some frames. Now add another keyframe at this point. Now again come to the original keyframe. Now move the layer forward to some frames. Add another keyframe here. Now you have total three keyframes. First at the frame where one scene ends and second scene starts, which is our main keyframe. And you have another two keyframes, one before the main keyframe and one after the main keyframe. Now come to the main keyframe which is in the middle and set the speed at the highest point at this keyframe. And you are done. The speed ramp between two scenes is ready. Similarly, go to the next point where the second scene ends and the third scene starts. Add a keyframe at this point. Add another keyframe at some frame behind the main keyframe. And add another keyframe at some frame after the main keyframe. Now again come to the middle keyframe and set the speed at 4x at this keyframe. By this method, you can add speed ramps between your shots. Keep the length of every shot similar if you can. You can sync the animation with music also by adding the middle keyframe when the beat comes. If you guys also want to make this kind of car edits, 
and you don't know where to find this kind of car videos, then just go to the official site of the car brand that you want and go to video menu of the website. From there you can get this type of raw car footages and they are absolutely copyright free for editorial purpose. So, we have added speed ramps between every scene that we have. Now the video looking like this. Now select the video layer and go effects. Here, search for an effect called Edge Glow. Now first, increase the threshold to one point. Now set the smoothening according to you. Now adjust the spread and blur value. By this effect, you can achieve a sharp and cinematic look in your edit. And we are done. We have simply created a speed ramping effect using a light motion. You can edit reels, shots, or even full videos using this effect.